What's up everybody, how you feeling? It's your boy Pastor Dre. Today I want to walk you through step by step on how you can build a WordPress website from scratch. So keep it locked right here with your boy. So right now we see we have a blank WordPress website. It's brand new. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the, um, the website and show you the way it looks. This is how it looks right now. Okay, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is you want to go and you want to install a plugin. I want you to go ahead and click plugins, click add new, and then I want you to type in generate blocks. Generate blocks. One letter, one word. Okay. And it's going to show up over here. I want you to click install now. And then I want you to go ahead and click activate. All right. Next thing we're going to do is I want you to go where it says appearance themes click there okay then you're going to click add new over here you're going to type in generate press one word okay this is going to show up here I want you to go ahead and click install okay and then click activate mine is already installed so you just go ahead and click install activate okay Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some pages to our website. So I want you to go to pages. And we're going to go ahead and leave the privacy policy page. Go ahead and leave that if you have one. All right. I want you to click add new. And title this page home. Click publish. And click publish again. Go ahead over here. Click add new page right there. And I want you to call this one blog. Okay. Click publish and publish again. Then go to the right over here where it says add new page. Click that. And I want you to write contact us. So our website is going to have three pages. We're going to have a home page, a blog page, and a contact us page. So go ahead and publish your contact us page. Go ahead and publish that. All right. Click over here where this W is at. And as you can see in your pages section, you have home, blog, contact us next thing I want you to do is I want you to go to settings and reading so click settings click reading and where it says a static page I want you to click that where it says home page I want you to click home where it says post page I want you to click blog or select blog go ahead and save your changes okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh our website over here. And now it looks like that. Okay. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to fix up our home page. So I want you to go to pages and see where it says home. Click where it says edit. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the right. See where it says layout. I want you to click no sidebars where it says footer widgets. You could just leave that the way it is. Content container, let's go with contain. Disable elements, click that. I want you to click update. All right, so let's go ahead and refresh our page. There we go. We have a blank home page. Now, what we're going to do is I want you to go ahead and click this plus over here. And in the search section, I want you to type cover. And go ahead and select cover. Alrighty. Click the blue thing. And I want you to click update. I want you to go ahead and refresh your website. By doing that, all you got to do is click the circle and click refresh. Now we have blue on our website. Let's go back to the editor. And we're going to type in here, WordPress website tutorial. You could type whatever you want. The name of your business, the name of your church, the name of your company, however you want to do it. So I'm going to say WordPress website tutorial. And go ahead and click update. Let's go ahead and click refresh on our website. And that's how it's looking now. It's coming along. All right. So let's go ahead and go back over here. I'm going to go to the right and I click enter. And then I'm going to type in a phrase. Let's say learn how to build an online business 
using our tips and techniques. Let's put learn how to build a successful, successful online business. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a little bigger by clicking on the text and go over here and I'm gonna click 20. And then I'm gonna click these three lines and I'm gonna center it. There we go. Then I'm gonna click update. All right, then I'm gonna go to the end of this and I'm gonna click enter. Then I'm gonna click the black plus and I'm gonna go to search and I'm gonna type in button. And I want you to click button. All right, and that where it says add text, I want you to type in learn more or whatever you wanna type in. I'm just giving you samples, but you can type in whatever you want. You can type in click here, read our blog, contact us. I'm just gonna put learn more. Then I'm gonna change this color to green. So I'm gonna click on the button and see where it says background. I'm gonna to go to the colors over here, click in that box, and I'm gonna select green. I'm gonna bring it over to the green, all right? And then I'm gonna make sure the text is white. And then I wanna center the button, so I'm gonna click this right here. I'm sorry, this one here, click it. And we'll, Wait, where are we at? Okay, click the one on the left, and it says justify items center. And then we're gonna click update. Now, let's go ahead and refresh our website. There we go. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a picture in the background, something that I just, real simple picture. You could do it in Photoshop. You don't have to add it, but it's just gonna add a little flavor to the website. And you could add any picture you want, but I'm just gonna add a basic one. The way you can add a background picture is you can click on the blue and you click add media. And then you go ahead and upload your picture from your hard drive. I got this simple black picture with a few lines on it. So I'm going to double click. And there it is. Well, it's not really black. It's kind of a little dark blue, I guess you would say. And it just adds a little flavor to the website. Real simple picture. Just got two lines on it. And it's, and it's blue, dark blue. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and click refresh. And now our website is rocking. We're getting there. This is our home page. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some things under this part here. So you just click on click on the, you know, be, below, click below, and you see the little black dot or the black plus, go ahead and click that. And then I want you to, in the search bar, I want you to type in container, C-O-N, and you're gonna see the option for container right here. Click that. All right, then I want you to click the plus, and I want you to type in the word grid. G-R-I-D and select grid and we're gonna do three you can do whatever you want once again whatever I choose you don't have to but this is a sample website for you okay so I'm gonna click these three here and it's gonna give me three columns and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put our blog right here okay so I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus button and I'm gonna type in WordPress I'm gonna do that and you can see I have an option there so let's go ahead and do it like that. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to our website. I have my blog page. I'm gonna click the blog page. And I'm gonna grab my, this is my first blog right here. See how it says hello world? That's the standard blog that comes with every WordPress. Okay, so we're just gonna insert that one for now because we haven't written any blogs. So let's go ahead and click on that blog. And I want you to select this URL up here. That's called your URL. And I want you to copy it. Control C on the PC. I'm not for sure what it's on the Mac. I think it's Alt C. I'm not for sure. But copy it. And then we're going to go back to the page and we're going to put that URL right here. And I want you to click embed. See that? Same thing here. We're going to click on this box. Click plus. Click the WordPress. And insert that URL. I want you to go to this box. Click plus. Click WordPress. Insert that URL. Click embed. There you go. Let's hit update. Let's go to refresh our home page. So let's go to home because now we're on the blog. So we're going to go back to the home page. There we go. It's looking nice. So let's put some text underneath here. I'm just going to put anything. Like I said, you could customize your website, but I'm just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to write anything. So let's go down here. We're going to click underneath. Okay, let me scroll down a little bit so I can get underneath here. All right, let me see, boom. All right, click underneath, and then the black 
plus shows up so we're going to click that i want you to click container again all right click the plus and i want you to click paragraph all right so you can go ahead and start writing i'm going to say welcome to the wordpress website tutorial say this is just the name of my website all right so then i'm going to center it right and we're going to make it a little bigger so i'm going to click click on the text and go over here and click 36. then i'm going to click update and i'm going to click refresh wow it's coming along so let's put some more text underneath that i'm just going to type a paragraph let's just say so i'm going to go to the right of the text i'm going to click enter okay then i'm going to click plus and we're going to select paragraph all right so let's just go ahead and start writing this is a pretty cool website and then i'm just gonna oops i misspelled website and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy and paste this for the sake of the tutorial of course you would probably be writing something different you can write about your business uh, your church your ministry so just write some paragraphs there so we're going to act like this is our paragraph and we're going to click update we're going to go to our home page click refresh let's see what we got looking good looking good all right so let's go ahead and uh put a footer the way you put this footer what you want to do you want to go to the w click this w and then you go to see right here where it says appearance you go to widgets okay then you're going to scroll down see where it says footer bar you click that so let me go ahead and get rid of this one so you can see it from scratch okay so i'm going to click update because this one already had a footer so i'm going to get rid of it so you can see how to add it okay so now let me get rid of the footer one second so that way you can see how to add the footer i'm going to go ahead and get rid of that let's see here okay then i'm going to click refresh So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to footer and then we're going to click add of the plus. We're going to click paragraph and let's type in what we want in our footer. Let's type in word press website tutorial. Okay. And we're going to click update. Now watch how that comes up on the bottom of our website right here. We're going to click refresh. And there you go. WordPress website tutorial and then you got your name of your website there so now you got a nice little footer on your website all right family so it's coming along so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and write our first blog because when they click blog now it just says hello world so we want to actually write a blog because this is the standard blog how do you write a blog let's go back to our website we're gonna click dashboard and I want you to click post then I want you to click add new and you can just title it whatever you want. I'm going to title this my first blog. Okay. And then what we're going to do is you're going to click underneath here. Boom. And you just start writing. Hello, everyone. Thank you for stopping by my blog. Okay. And I could just say, I hope you enjoy what we are going to teach we are going to give you tips and techniques on how to build a successful i'm just making up anything successful online business from scratch okay now for the sake of time I'm just going to take what I wrote and copy it and act like it's a full blog. So I'm going to copy it and just paste. Boom. Okay. Act like I'm writing. Then you can hit space and write another paragraph. Hit space, write another paragraph. Hit space and write another paragraph. So we're going to act like this is our blog. Okay. Then you're going to click publish. And you click publish again. So now when you go to your website and you click your blog page, you have your hello world and you have your first blog. 
and when you click my first blog your blog shows up you actually have a blog page now isn't that cool wow and if you want to add a picture all you have to do is just go on over here you can say uh, you could click enter and just click the plus and you click image so you want to write an image and you could write you could upload any image you want I'm just going to do the one we already have for the sake of time so I'm going to go to our media library and I'll just upload this little logo that I have okay boom there it is you click update let's refresh our blog there's my image and you can put an image of yourself uh, image of whatever you're talking about maybe you're talking about your church service you could put a people of a uh, picture of someone worshiping maybe it's your business and you sell hair clippers you could put a picture of a hair clipper whatever you want to put a picture of you can do it like that so there's your blog so now what we're going to do this is what we're going to do we're going to go back to our home page and we're going to get rid of this standard blog and we're going to put our first blog in there so let's go ahead and do that now so what i'm going to do I'm going to go to the blog and we're going to click on my first blog and we're going to grab this URL up here and I'm going to copy it. Then we're going to go back to the W right here and we're going to go to pages because we're going to go to our home page and I want you to click edit under home page. All right. And then you just go over here and we're going to edit this from hello world to the blog we just wrote. So you click the pencil. And now we're going to insert the URL we just copied. You click embed and it's going to change. Watch, see how it changed? So you click the square, click the pencil, uh, get rid of what's in there already. I'm just going to click on it, get rid of it. All right, then I'm going to paste, click embed. Same thing here, click on it, click the pencil, get rid of everything, paste it, and embed. Click embed. Okay. Go ahead and do that and then I'm going to click update. All right, let's go ahead and refresh. Let's go to our home page. There it is. Now you got my first blog. Come on now this and it's been all done for free. You could customize it however you want. You could even put your contact us page here, your blog page here, your home page here, however you want to do it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to link this button to our blog. So I'm going to go to the blog page and I'm going to grab this URL here and I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go back to our home page. This is our home page. I'm going to click on the button. And see this little link that shows up. I'm going to click that and we're going to put our link to our blog page in that box. And we're going to click the arrow. Say yes. That's what we want. And then you click update. So we're basically saying, hey, we want this button to link to that URL. Okay, so now we saved it. So let's go to our home page. And hopefully this button will take us to our blog now. Let's click it. There it is. So let's get rid of this hello world because this is a standard blog. How do you get rid of that? You go to your dashboard by clicking up here on your website name. Go to your post. And see where it says hello world? Just click trash. You're good to go. So now when you visit your website, Let's go ahead and visit our website and you go to your blog you only have one blog that says my first blog and you can write as many blogs as you want let's do one more let's go over here we're going to go to the w we're going to click post we're going to click add new and we're going to title this one my second blog all right then we're going to come down here and we're going to start typing hello everyone Thank you. You could put whatever you want. I'm just making up something. Thank you for stopping by and reading my second blog. All right. And I'm going to hit space. And just for the sake of time, I'm going to copy this and act like I wrote a lot of stuff. But we're just going to paste this like it's a paragraph. Hit enter. Paste it like a paragraph. Hit enter. Paste it like a paragraph. Hit enter. Paste it like a paragraph. Then we're going to hit publish and publish again. You now have two blogs so let's go over to our blog page over here and there it is my first blog my second blog and the cool thing is we can get this go to the second blog grab this url and we could put that on our home page so we're going to go to w which take us to our dashboard 
we're going to go to pages and we're going to go to our home page and we're going to edit it and we're going to add our second blog now so let's change one of these let's change the middle one so we're going to click on it click the pencil and get rid of that url that's there and paste our new one for, of our second blog hit embed and now it says my second blog we click update let's go ahead and refresh our our website let's go ahead and click on our blog page and there it is my second blog my first blog all right let's do one more page and you're pretty much done we're going to make a contact us page the way you do that go back to your dashboard click the w go to pages right here and click on contact us and edit all right and it's real simple you could put here hello we look forward to hearing from you and you can say phone is one four one five four seven three eight seven nine five uh, whatever your phone number is okay let's see eight seven nine five you can say email um let's see info at my cool website whatever your you know email is you could do your Facebook you could do your address however you want to do it okay and then you just click update and then we're gonna go to our website which is right here we're gonna click contact us and there's your information hello we look forward to hearing from you phone email of course you could probably put your website let's put let's put our website on there so let's put website uh, my cool website whatever your web let me put an actual web address so mine is legit affiliate marketing.com okay there you go and then I'm gonna click update and then we're gonna go ahead and refresh our contact us page there you go you can make it bigger so to stand out you can put a picture however you want to do it so i'm going to highlight this text and we're going to make it to make it bigger i'm going to click 20 over here i'm going to click update let's go to the contact page let's refresh it there you go you now have a three page website so let's go to home looking nice look at that that is nice come on now and you can add whatever you want you go to your blog page boom there's your blog you can add as many blogs as you want you go to contact us people can get a hold of you you have now just made a three page website come on and give yourself a good hand well congratulations once again you have just completed a three page website from scratch for free if you have any questions hit me up you can get a hold of me personally on my personal email which is pastor dre at pastordre.com that's pastordre at pastordre.com i look forward to helping you take your online business your church your ministry your personal endeavor to another level looking forward to hearing from you god bless you